So last year I'd done a video uh, that had to do with specialists and general practitioners. Oftentimes general practitioners will try to do specialty type work such as braces, orthodontics, or implants, or periodontal work, and oftentimes a general practitioner can take on a multitude of different uh, procedures and really not be very good at any one of them. And I wanted to expand on that a little bit because I was thinking of a very good analogy. Sometimes my kids, I have six boys, and some of them are still little, and I will get one of their shoes. They'll be complaining, Dad, my shoe has a knot in it, the laces are all knotted up. And I will look at the size of this knot. This is a Gordian knot of epic proportions now. The thing is about the size of a golf ball. And as I'm trying to take this thing apart, I'm like, gee, I wish that Sam had given me this shoe about 10 minutes ago when the knot was just starting and I probably could have undone it. We would have been fine. Now I'm at a point where this shoelace almost has to be severed in order for me to resolve the problem. And we're probably looking at a new shoelace. Oftentimes I've seen this before and I hear from my specialist friends that a general dentist started a procedure that they thought was easy. An easy implant, an easy root canal, an easy set of braces or Invisalign trays, and all of a sudden, either midway through the procedure, at the end of the procedure, or at the end of 12 months with Invisalign, and all of a sudden they're finding out, gee, this wasn't so easy. I didn't realize this was going to be so hard and difficult. And because they've sort of tried to solve the problem as best they can, they've put the patient and the process in more jeopardy than they started. Occasionally that might result in a root canal that was supposed to be easy and now the tooth needs to be extracted. Or a tooth that a dentist tried to take out, an extraction, where some roots have broken and the root has ended up in the sinus and now they have to go to an oral surgeon and have a very complicated procedure. So what worries me sometimes when I see general practitioners practicing a lot of different procedures is they think it's easy until they find out it's not and while they scramble to get out of the trouble they put themselves in, if the patient had just gone to the specialist in the first place, none of it would have ever happened.